Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's work on balancing this chemical equation. So let's get started. Let's get started by counting atoms. We have carbon, hydrogen, and then oxygen on both sides. Carbon, then hydrogen, and oxygen. So we can assume that if we do not see a coefficient that it is going to be a 1 on both sides. We have a 1 here and then a 1 there. Okay. 1 times 3, we have 3 carbons. Uh, 1 times 8 is we have 8 hydrogen, and it looks like we have 2 oxygen. And then on this side, we have 1 times 1, so it looks like we have 1 carbon. Uh, now let's move over to hydrogen. 1 times 2 okay, is 2. And now oxygen, we need to be careful because we have 2 here and one there. So that gives us a total of three. Now let's start. Carbon is not balanced. We have three on the left, one on the right. So <clears throat> why don't we just multiply, change this coefficient to a three. Three times one is three. It's looking good so far. But we also need to multiply this three times this two. So oxygen now becomes a six. So we have carbons balanced for at least now. Now let's look at hydrogen. We have eight on this side, two on this side. So why don't we just change this one to a four, okay? So four times two is now eight. Hydrogen's looking good, but we need to multiply four times the one here. So we need to add four to the oxygen. 6 plus 4 is now 10. So oxygen is now out of balance. So why don't we just change this to a 5. 5 times 2 is indeed 10. So I think we're good. We have carbons are balanced. 3, 3. Hydrogen, 8, 8. And oxygen, 10, 10. So let's rewrite this. We have C, 3, H, 8, plus 5, O, 2 is going to yield 3, C, O, 2, plus 4, H, 2, Oh, so there we go. It is now balanced. I hope that was helpful.